Hi guys and welcome back. This is Mike Hermes at MH Tutorials and today we're going to do a very short and simple tutorial on how to create grass in Maya. Alright, let's get started with that. Uh, okay, so we're going to start off with the ground plane and we're just going to drag that out in the grid, something like that. And we're going to go to our attribute editor and we're going to make sure that we have enough uh, subdivisions. So we're going to go to our subdivisions width in our attribute editor, select the polyplane one tab. And I'm going to change that to 50 by 50. Okay. Now, the reason for that is when you create grass, the more subdivisions you got, the uh, easier it is to uh, manipulate your settings for grass but more importantly what you can do is you can manipulate the surface now what do I mean by that you never see a grass field looking like that it's always a little bit bumpy and so forth okay so we're gonna start off by um, manipulating that a bit we're gonna go to our deformation tab here and we're gonna select our soft modification tool right here okay now you see that there's a uh, circle here and you got this red edge around here by hitting the plus key on the keyboard or the minus key on the keyboard you can kind of influence that range so what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, click in various places and we're just going to create some difference in height so it's not absolutely you know, flat, if you know what I mean, right? Then we're going to scale that. Oops, that's not, not what we're going to do. We're going to uh, push down here and there. So every time you just click once and then you manipulate. If you drag it, you're going to drag your object. Okay, not too bad. Now, second is we're going to apply the grass, okay? But before we do that, I'm just gonna throw in a backdrop here. So we're gonna go to our polygons menu. I'm gonna select a plane, drag that out in the grid, drag that up, hit E and rotate that, okay? Make sure we're at 90 degrees, something like that. And I'm gonna hit R, and scale that out a little bit like so and we're going to hit W and we're going to pull it I'll just hit 5 for shaded mode so we can see that a bit better we're going to pull it towards or feel like that and I'm going to hit R again and pull it in something like that okay now what I want to do is I want to apply a sky to this okay so I'm going to right click on this image I'm going to go to assign new material um, I'm going to select a Lambert like that check on this uh, checkered box here takes a second okay I'm going to search for file select the file I'm going to scroll down click on my folder and I'm gonna grab a file that I found which is called the blue sky and I'm gonna hit that I'm gonna hit six on my keyboard for uh, textured mode so that looks good now I'm just gonna grab my ground plane hit R and pull that out to roughly the same width something like that okay and now I'm going to apply the grass to that. So I got my plane selected. I'm going to go to my fur tab. And if we go to uh, this one here, the uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, number seven from the left, we've got our grass. Okay. Now, when this is selected, you can go into your tab and you can uh, change a couple of options. Uh, for example, the density and the global scale. Now, what we're going to do first is we're going to select that, which will give us a little bit more options. Okay. Okay. So let's increase these samples here, the U and the V samples, 
like that. And let's give this a quick trial render, okay? And that's another thing I was doing. All right. Now, as you can see, uh, lighting is not great, and there's a lot of open space in the grass here. So we're just going to exit this. I'm going to click on my field here, right click, assign new material, select the Lambert, and I'm going to change the color to green and make that a fairly dark green like that. So first of all, you're going to get a little bit more green color in between the grass segments, if you want to call it that, okay? Then I'm going to select my grass. There we go. Uh, we're going to go to uh, look at the settings here. Okay, these values look okay. We're going to go to our grass tab. I want to increase the density, so I'm going to add a zero here. Let's see what that looks like. And we'll see that in our render. Much better. Okay, as you can see, it's starting to look much more like a dense uh, grass field. Okay, now we can still improve on that. What we're going to do is we're going to go to our render settings and we're going to go to uh, Mental Ray, our indirect, indirect lighting tab, and we're going to select image based lighting like so. Okay. I'm going to minimize that. This allows me to search for an HDRI file. And I got a bunch of those. And you can d usually download them for free from the uh, uh, from various websites. Um, hang on. I just went out too fast. OK, uh, Sky 1. There we go which will give you something like that. That will influence our lighting quite a bit. And now let's just give this a try. I'm going to my render settings. Uh, I'm going to increase the quality quite a bit to about 1.25. And I'm going to increase the quality as well. And we're going to bump that up to HD 1080. I'm going to give this a go and let's see how it looks. I'll pause during rendering so you guys don't have to wait for that. Um, here we go. All right, guys, this is the final render. Uh, looks like a sunny day with some dark weather coming in. Um, anyway, hopefully this uh, short tutorial was helpful. If you've got any questions, as always, please leave them in the comment section. And thanks very much for watching. Thank you. See you guys next time.